Good afternoon, friends. Uh, first of all, a cordial welcome to all of you. Myself, Darish Mistri, uh, IS training at IIC India. Today, I am going to discuss about a, a new technology uh, which gives a new means to networking technology. But uh, before we discuss about that, let's have a discussion on uh, why we need network technologies or why network technologies get involved in our day to day communication life. So it all started with smoke signals. It all started with smoke signals. So as we all know that first in uh, very older days we used to smoke signals to for longer distance communication. You might have seen it is all still uses in used in a uh, uh, like you have might have seen in a uh, life of a pipe. Okay. Then yes, we used to send in, uh, uh, emails, postcards. All that stuff to our relatives or for apply for a job and all that. Newspapers. It's not a direct way of communication, but it indirectly gives a communication way uh, where we can get to know about uh, uh, in information of our nearest or far farthest places. Telephone. This was a uh, new revolution in communication technology where people can uh, talk like Then emails and wireless, we all use these stuff today. Now what's next? Uh, I mean, can you imagine a world without the wires or even wireless? So my topic focuses on that, this technology. So, this is, so welcome to the future of communism. Uh, topic is about red network, human area network. Okay. So let's see what we are going to cover. This is introduction, what it is, how it works and all this. So, what is this technology? It's a communicative a communication technology which uses human body as a communication medium. It is an innovative human, tech, uh, human area network technology which is developed by NTT at uh, Tokyo, Japan. And what does it mean? Is it is combination of two words, red and tactile. Red is an auspicious word the Japanese use for their Japanese culture. And tactile is combination of two words, touch and act. It means touch and talk, means action triggered by a touch. Components. As in every network technology, there are some components. For example, a transmitter is there, receiver is there, and is a medium is always there. So here are some components in this technology also used. Transmitter as in our technology, then electro-optic sensor. A laser beam which senses the electro optic effects and a receiver which receives the messages. What is the working principle of this technology? So, in this technology, uh, as we know, human body is used as an intermediate. So, electric field of a human body is used for transmitting a data. So, a transmitter, what does a transmitter do? It makes a small change in electric field of a human body. And the receiver just senses that uh, change in the electric field, okay, and then it transfers that is electric field data into digital signals using a laser beam. Okay. Then this is this diagram shows a clear picture about this technology. Some particular uh, space or limit, okay, particular area. 
beyond that area it will not work. So rectangle is human area rectangle which uh, works uh, or as a, or using human body. Okay. So these are some features of rectangle. The main feature of rectangle is it uses touch. Means whenever we touch someone, we can transfer it. Like shaking hands. When we shake our hands to our uh, person on the other hand, we can exchange our card, business cards. Okay. Then uh, another is broadband and internet. So let us see all this in detail. Touch. As I said, it works on a touch. Touch basis. For example, I am walking. And you might have seen there, you all know, all know that there is a uh, security on our gate of India. So we need to punch our cards to pass that gate. So if we use uh, red tech and technology, then we need to just walk and there is a pad on the bottom side which senses our electric field and just where authenticators to enter. So then there are so many touch actions like I want to open a door, then I can use this red tech like a server area and then broadband and interactivity. So how this technology can overcome or can be more helpful in broadband and wireless technologies? Can you have an idea? Okay. So it helps as I said it uses human body as an intermediate. So uh, for example we all are in a city here and we are using a wireless broadband. And we all are accessing the broadband at the same time. Then the speed may get deteriorated. But when we use red pattern technology, we all are as a human, we can become a separate channel as we are working as an intermediate. Okay? So it will not deteriorate speed as we all are human and we become as a separate channel for the communication. So this is the biggest advantage for broadband and than any media. Yes, obviously, it can work with any media which on which, on which surface a electric field can be transferred, like a screw, screw a table, a, as, we, as we know, human or an owl screws, then the tire of a car, glass, water. Security. So, rare detection provides a safe and secure mechanism uh, with two aspects of it. One is physical body and the second is so, in physical body, uh, bearing, by bearing a transmitter on our body, anywhere uh, in pocket or like a watch. So, by bearing that, we allow others to uh, transfer our data and all okay? Then, it uses entry. That device we have in built encryption and authentication algorithms and packets of the program. We can program our device. Uh, like to whom we want to share and what we need to share. Like this we can prevent others to access our information. Then human safety. As we all know, a small electric field change is transferred on human body. So it may cause an uh, electric shock on human body if the transmitter transfers uh, more amount of electric field. Okay. To secure from that, they are making a coated, quotation on the uh, transmitter. Okay, so by this they can prevent life from accidental like this. And applications. This is not the interesting part of any technology. Uh, what are the applications we can use in the other? Okay, so here are applications for red tech. Military applications. As you all know, uh, in military we have so, so many uh, guns and all that. So they are stolen or selling grey markets. To prevent from such kind of acts, uh, the military can use this technology and a uh, transmitter on the gun or any arm and another arm transmitter will be on the body of a uh, soldier. So that a, a particular soldier will be allowed to use that gun. Other, other than that, the gun will be of no use. Okay? Then medical applications. Uh, for that, let us see this. Uh, in this image, as we can see, the doctor is checking the pulses of his patient. Okay. So, but meanwhile, he is checking the pulses of his patient. The data get transferred into her computer so that he can check the history of the person at the same time. So, this is a something new. 
that animation clip of human errors. Uh, we, uh, this is again I am showing context of a medicine. Okay? For example, a patient uh, touches or use try to use a medicine, but uh, unfortunately he touches a wrong medicine. So, so alarm can be sent that okay, you are touching the wrong medicine like this. Then consumer applications. Uh, this can be used in many aspects, like uh, we can see in images like uh, a person is driving a car. Okay. Now using that technique, there is no need to, to him to adjust the car so that steering. That will automatically be adjusted according to the adjustment of the person. And as I said earlier, the two people can share, share their business cards, even not even business cards, we can share the context of e, our each other. Okay. Then intuitive operations like for example, I, uh, I want to share my photographs of uh, holidays and all that. Okay. So I can transfer that data using just by touching my friend's hand or the PD. Instead, data exchange also explains the same. Advantages. What can be the advantages of such a technology? Can anyone say? Okay. So uh, the biggest advantage I would like to tell you is that it uses human body, so it will not deter the speed of a network transmission. Okay, as you, as each single person will create a uh, chance per single channel for transmission of data. This is the biggest advantage. And another advantage is that uh, from the researchers they are claiming that they will be, uh, data will be transferred at a rate of 10 Mbps. So that will be another big advantage. Disadvantage. So, disadvantage is that we, as we all know, that infrared and all these technologies are used. Uh, government has the some amount of bandwidth uh, uh, limit allows the only vendors to uh, use the limit. Okay, so that uh, brain hemorrhage or these kind of things will not be happen. Uh, red tactic may also cause such kind of effects to a human body uh, to prevent from such a accidental or uh, effects the research is still under conclusion okay. before going to a conclusion let us see a video which shows some more applications of red tech A high-level personalized service allowing your ID to be verified, entry recorded, and your day's appointments displayed simply by standing in front of a terminal. Total office security without inconvenience can be provided, allowing users to be identified and their computers turned on by just sitting down, or cabinets to be unlocked automatically at the touch of an authorized user. Mobile terminals and terminals embedded in the environment are able to connect and initiate communication in various combinations in response to user actions. Red Tacton is a new communications technology that uses a weak electric field on the surface of the user's body as a communications path. Since most of the electric field induced on the surface of the body leaks to the ground, the field is extremely weak, making communication difficult over distances and at speeds comparable to conventional methods. To address this issue, NTT Microsystem Integration Laboratories has developed a highly efficient technology for inducing an electrical field for the transmitter and highly sensitive field sensing technology for the receiver. Implementation of these technologies has made communication with anywhere on the body possible, not from just the wrist to the fingertips as in the past. The technology is able to achieve half duplex communication up to 10 megabits per second, even through shoes or clothing. We have also developed technology to eliminate noise components and to detect just the signal component easily. What's more, 
we have increased performance while decreasing power requirements. With Red Tacton, the user's body plays the role of a cable, presenting a lower risk of interception than wireless, while providing the convenience of wireless by not requiring cable connections. It also allows implementation of walk-through ticket gates and without the need for waving a card over a reader. All exchange of data, such as authentication and usage history, as well as the required processing, can be completed in approximately 200 milliseconds when the user steps on the sensor. Red Tacton provides an intelligent and intuitive, as well as safe and agreeable, authentication system that promises to expand in application to many aspects of life. Red Tacton, a new ubiquitous service that can be used by anyone to connect networks naturally without requiring any particular awareness by the user. So, we have seen a uh, nice video about the applications of this red technology. So, let us come to a conclusion for this technology. So, this is a this gives a this technology gives a new mission to a network technology. Are you aware Okay. So can I say this technology is a future of a networking or communication technology? Thank you. I thank you for the attention and questions are welcome from all of your sides. Any questions? Okay. Thank you.